What's going on? Back put it in the game. What you for the prop? Hey, yo, man, listen, before we get into the video, I need to let you guys know right now, if you want a chance to win $50, but there's a $200 up for grabs. Four winners, okay? All you gotta do right now is subscribe to this channel, all right? Make sure you follow me, twitch.tv slash dpiver24. Everything will be linked in the description as well, as well as my second YouTube channel. I'm running this giveaway on both my YouTube channels, my Twitch, and my Discord, okay? There's gonna be four winners, one from Discord, one from Twitch, and two from YouTube, okay? So if you guys wanna enter right now, make sure you subscribe to everything down in the comments. It'll be pinned and it'll be in the description. Those four things that I mentioned to you guys, very cool, chill, informational content. I have a really nice source of information of the game and uh, I'm a very, very nice person and I'm looking to change the world in a positive way, one person at a time. So let's go ahead and get right into the video, y'all. First of all, you guys need to get familiar with the Genshin interactive map, okay? What this is, is a lot of you guys already know about this, but if you don't, this is a map that you can pull up or look at every single resource in the game. So what we're looking at right now are Crystal Core. When you first come to this page, so just make sure you go to Hide All and then Show All, that's like, that was like, damn. But yeah, so hide all. What we're looking at here are, just like I said, the crystal core, okay? And what the crystal core are is that you're gonna need them for condensed resin, okay? What condensed resin is, is gonna get you double drops for your artifact domain. Some domains are hard, whether it be talent domains or the noblesse oblige domain or some, you might not have the best carry for a particular domain. So you always wanna make sure that whenever you can, you're grabbing these crystal core, they respawn about every 24 hours. And these are all the locations right here. Um, a few of these are pretty much right by the same couple teleport points, if you guys can notice that. So make sure you guys understand that as far as where those crystal core are. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into the, bear in mind, this is my main account, North America server, AR-55, pretty much all the big boys are AR-55 now. Some of the like, you know, hyper max refresh people are at AR-56, but I don't think anyone is past that. And uh, there's a specific reason for that, but we don't talk about that in this video. What we're gonna be talking about is artifacts and how to grind artifacts. What artifacts are you looking for, for specific characters? These are a lot of questions and I'm gonna try and answer every single last one of them in less than 15 minutes, okay? So first of all, you need to get familiar with the actual domain. You have four domains that are for ascension. You got two for weapon ascension and these rotate every day. And then you got two for talent books and these are super important. Every single adventure rank needs to farm talent books. Looking at our domains, you have Thundering Fury, Thunder Soother, Every single domain, you can just click the button and navigate to it, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna show you where every single domain is, but just notice that this is your Electro domain, okay? This one, Beardescent Venerir, this is gonna be very good for animal support characters or animal main DPS with just a two-piece. This is really good for supporting other elements damage, all right? And Mains Beloved, that's a healing set. It's kind of a trolley set. You'll realize that most of the domains have one god tier set and then one that's not so god tier but it's a lot more situational okay so thunder soother is really good if you're not going to be doing any sort of elements or reactions if you're going to be whacking people with kaching and not doing elements or reactions thunder soother might be the way for you but if you want a more general build two-piece thundering fury and two-piece gladiator is going to be really good sometimes it's going to be the best build is going to be two-piece of whatever elemental bonus damage you are and then something like no bless oblige that gives you 20 percent elemental burst damage so if you're going to be using a character for burst support you're going to make sure that you run at least a two-piece no bless set and if they're a full support just stack the most scuffed four piece no bless oblige set on any support character that you have on your team. If you're doing Abyss, you want two no bless oblige people in one of each team, one in each team if you can, okay? If, if possible, if you need that. But it's just a 20% attack percentage to your whole party for 12 seconds, okay? Bloodstained Chivalry is the two piece set, is your god tier go to for any physical bonus damage dealer. If you're doing physical bonus damage with your carry, you need this. For somebody like Jean that you want her to hit hard in order to heal you harder, you need that, okay? 
Then you have the Blizzard Strayer set and then the Heart of Depths, which this four piece set is very, very situational, but extremely good for someone like Child. It's not like the Crimson Witch set, for instance, which is just straight all elemental reactions. Then you have the, the Crimson Witch set is, in my opinion, the best set in the game. Obviously, this only works with Pyro characters, but Pyro characters have such a huge advantage with being the best element for our reactions right now and the most versatile for damage reactions as well as having the best set in the game for reactions. So, yeah, these are basically your, your sets. You got your Archaic Petra, sometimes Two-Piece and then Noblesse or Two-Piece and Gladiator set. You also do have Gladiators in your Wanderers Troop sets. These are very, very, very general sets. Some of the best sets in the game. And you'll see that this focuses on Catalyst and Bolt users, and this one is Polearm and any Bolt Sword users, okay? But 18% attack percentage is good on basically every character in the game. 80 Elemental Mastery is really, really good, depending on if you're going for reactions, but mainly for someone that you're doing charge attack, crazy spam charge attack this set is great for basically every character in the game okay and this only drops from world bosses and you know your cubes all of your elemental enemies like this that cost 40 resin so you can only get these from 40 resin bosses and they only start to guarantee at ar55 so you're not going to really want to farm these sets at all you're just want, going to want to hope and pray that when you do need to do these cubes or you know the regis vines for your character to ascend them you just pray that you get some good wander troop and some good gladiator stuff to drop because it's going to be your most general sets that you're going to want to use okay all right so listen guys this is something that's very important too knowing what gear you want to keep and you want to throw away like i explained to you now that we know pretty much every single set in the game you'll want to realize that some pieces and some sets you just don't want to throw away if you get anything that are solid with gladiator or wanderers troop never throw it away ever bro so even if you got only two good substats on a feather or flower and it's gladiators or wanderers troop you might want to give it a whirl okay so if you guys take a look at this, right? You see it has flat defense, bad, but crit rate and attack percentage. Well, that's two of our three top DPS increases, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a whirl. We're gonna level this to level four. So what we want is crit damage. If we get crit damage, we're taking this to level 20. I'm gonna tell you like that right now. Crit damage, oh my God. Oh my God. What are the odds? Wow. And that's 7% crit damage. This is basically a god piece. Now you have a 3 to 1 chance that this is going to be an extremely, extremely great piece. Yo, I promise this is not like rigged or pre-recorded. Like, alright, let's see. Just go to crit damage first and I'll love you forever. Okay, crit rate. That's great. 3.2 crit rate. That's great, alright? Let's see what we get for level 12. You guys also want to make sure that you're not throwing away anything that you could ever potentially use. So if you get a goblet with such and such a corresponding bonus damage, whether it matches your set or not, you never want to throw that away. All right. So always want to hang on to stuff like that. Oh, and defense. This is basically the make or break roll right here. Okay, crit rate. This is not bad, okay? So if we roll this to level 20 and it rolls crit damage, this is a massive increase. This is almost that roll going to defense really stung because we were already minus a roll. This did only start with three substats, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys how to build any character, okay? So you guys will notice that all of my characters, over 100% attack percentage, over 40 to 50% crit rate, and at least 150 crit damage, okay? Whatever their corresponding damage is. So animal bonus damage or, 
you know, Hydro or Cryo, whatever your character uses, Geo. You're gonna see that all of those stats are basically the same. Over 100% attack, but not over 200%. Over 50 crit rate, 150 crit damage. Geo bonus damage at 90. So all these characters, the builds are gonna be very, very similar. Child's a little bit different, but yeah, over 150 attack percentage, 42 crit rate, which isn't, you know, it's okay, right? And then 155 crit damage. I definitely want a little bit more crit rate, but it's not really going for us right now. And of course, Chad is going to have 90% Hydro bonus damage because that's his Ascension stat, okay? So are you guys noticing a common theme? Look at my Klee, and she pretty much has secondary gear on right now. Over 100% attack, 50% crit rate. 150 crit damage. Look at my Hu Tao. Okay, I'll show you my real Hu Tao in a second. But 65 crit rate and 210 crit damage. All right. So when Hu Tao is in her maximum capacity, this is what my Hu Tao looks like. Okay. So you're going to notice the common theme. Every single last one of these characters shares basically all the same thing. Crit damage or crit rate for the headpiece, okay? You see this crit rate or crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage, elemental mastery, energy recharge, all right? This is a god tier piece. This piece basically can't get any better except maybe a little bit more crit rate. But this is a god piece and it's Gladiator's Troop. This is one of the best pieces you're ever going to see on Genshin Impact. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Now, if you have something that's crit rate, you're going to want to do crit rate and then attack percentage, and then crit damage. Look at this piece. This is just an incredible crit rate piece, okay? So that's basically what you're gonna be looking for. Crit rate, and then crit damage in the substats, mainly, but you really, really want crit damage with crit rate in the substat, okay? Your goblet, you're gonna see hydro bonus damage, animal bonus damage, hydro, physical, geo, electro, pyro, cryo, pyro. There's no changing, okay? And the substat you're gonna be looking for, Crit damage, crit rate, attack percentage, and then I would say whatever your character scales with. So maybe like Hu Tao scales with HP, maybe your character scales with defense, force shield, or you know, something like that. Your sands is what I call your flex piece, okay? You're gonna always wanna have attack percentage if they're a main DPS. Energy recharge if they're pure support for elemental reactions or shields or any sort of utility with their skills, okay? Or you would wanna have HP percentage if they scale with HP or if you're not really using them and you just want them to their heal to be really really good for low investment throw, throw on an HP percentage sand but that's not going to be a character that you're going to be using once again subsets are always going to follow as crit damage number one crit rate number two generally attack percentage number three or whatever your character scales with and then attack percentage but that's always going to be the same for goblets those are your three for your sands, those are your three situations that's absolutely perfect. Your feather and your flower are always gonna be stat sticks, okay? You always want these within your artifact set. So whether or not it's your best feather or flower, you want what's decent in your artifact set, and then you'll just farm the domain after you max out your other characters when you're trying to particularly perfect a certain character, okay? So just look at these substats, bro. HP percentage is wonderful for Hutao because you scaled with that. 30% crit damage, okay? This is a god piece for Hutao, right? Look at my Klee's flower. 24 crit damage and 6 crit rate. And your crit rate is always going to be anywhere between 2.5 to 4. And crit damage is going to be anywhere between 5 to 7.5 or 8. I've never really seen an 8. But you'll see pretty much all these flowers. Some combination of attack percentage and crit damage or crit rate. Crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, energy recharge, HP because he scales with that. Yeah, man. Even on the support, crit damage, energy recharge, attack percentage, attack percentage, crit rate. So are you guys getting the common theme 28 percent crit damage 30 you know th th that's solid like these are some extremely extremely extraordinary pieces y'all and this is coming from me playing the game since day one okay so just learn from me if you guys have any questions or concerns make sure you follow me support me discord youtube twitch and even on social media all right if you want to enter in the giveaway do all those things everything will be linked in the description below i sincerely hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys learned something from it and i wish all of you guys best of luck in entering the giveaway and i hope that we can impact as many people in the most 
most and positive way as possible. Till next time, Private Nation. Do love you, kings and queens. But I'm out. Done got it, man.